Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and today we'll be doing the in-depth review of this HTC One V. And the good thing about this phone is that this comes preloaded with Android 4, that's the ice cream sandwich. And it is also running the latest version of Sense, that is HTC Sense version 4. And uh, first, uh, let me give you a physical overview of the phone. This phone has a 3.7 inch screen with a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels uh, that comes to a PPI of about 252 and uh, the overall build quality of the phone is very nice actually it's a, a unibody design and this part is made up of uh, something like aluminium but it is uh, a different kind of a material and we do have some rubber parts and this phone comes with a built-in battery of 1500 milliampers and the battery is non-replaceable and we do have a 5 megapixel autofocus camera and LED flash. This uh, rear facing camera can shoot videos at 720p HD and this part that's the bottom part comes out and, and this phone accepts a standard SIM card and we can also add a micro SD card to expand the storage. The default storage on this phone is just 1 GB of spaces available to you but sadly HTC has not included any uh, micro SD card with the same so you need to buy that. Also this phone do does comes with Beats Audio but the headset that is supplied is standard HTC and on the front we have we do have uh, what do you say a nice uh, speaker grill the audio quality is actually very nice on this phone we have the ambient light sensor proximity sensor but sadly there is no front facing camera on this phone also if you uh, look closely if you go down let me unlock the phone we have actually three touch type capacitive buttons that's the back home and this is for the multitasking tray if you click on the same it will list all the recent apps that were running for example let me open some apps and actually this phone uh, has a single core 1 gigahertz snapdragon processor and also it has a dedicated adreno 205 gpu and if we click on this multitasking tray you get this multitasking tray and using this you can easily switch to an application or let's say you want to close this application you just swipe it and it gets closed so this is ice cream sandwich feature Regarding the actual call quality on the phone, I found it to be really good. No issues with the uh, same. Also, let me show you the speaker phone. The speaker phone is uh, actually pretty uh, good on this phone. And I'm just going to switch on the speaker phone. Hello, welcome to Vodafone. We are happy to help you. As you have seen, uh, the audio quality is really nice with the speaker phone. So no issues with that. Also, this phone does have a LED notification light. So if the phone is in, let's say, the standby position like this, you, if you get a missed call or let's say an email, etc., this light will glow. And you can easily customize the type of LED no notifications you want. For example, let me pull out the settings tab. And as this is ice cream sandwich, the interface is a little bit different. Uh, but uh, and it'll take a little time to get used to but I feel uh, this is much easier to use and we do get a lot of settings now let me show you go to about and let us go to software information and as you can see it says that it's running the Android version 4.0.3 and the HTC sense version is version 4 and we do get actually five home screens one two three three four and five with this phone and sadly but this pinch gesture that i'm used to with other htc phones is missing on this one also if you notice uh, the layout has been changed a little bit now actually we have four icons at the bottom you can customize the same and to get to your app tray you click here and you get to the app tray and overall in my testing i did not find the phone to lag a bit uh, I was a little bit worried because this phone has just 512 MB of RAM but it does uh, run the phone smoothly and uh, if you unlock the phone HTC retains these four quick icons and you can directly jump to these for example let's say you just want to make a phone call you just drag the phone icon here to the circle and it will directly take you to that app you can customize the same if you like and now let me show you the browser performance on this phone and I open the stock browser 
and let us load tech2bus.com i'm connected uh, via my wi-fi network and i found the wi-fi reception on this phone to be very good no issues with the same and uh, let us open this atrix story and it loads the web pages fairly quickly without any issues and as this is a htc uh, browser the good thing is that it has true text reflows so if we zoom into an area it will automatically just reflow the text let me show you for example i'm as you can see it reflowed this text and if i zoom back again the text would be reflowed i found this uh, text reflow feature in most of the htc phone and it's very good one con that i have is uh, and i don't think so that's the problem of this phone but uh, i have noticed this in almost all the ice cream sandwich phones is that uh, they have problem uh, playing flash videos for example uh, this is a flash video and if i hit the play button actually nothing is going to happen it just sits over here and it did play a few times but it was really choppy i don't know if uh, uh, this is a problem with ice cream sandwich i'll get back regarding this later on because i'll be testing some other phones also dual core phones uh, with ice cream sandwich update so i'll know that later on but as of now the flash playback in the browser is uh, especially the video playback is a lot uh, hit or miss i would say and really choppy for example i have moved in the full screen and uh, it was just uh, loading the video and nothing was happening so let me get out of the same now let us uh, load the Engadget website and again the keyboard is very good it also gives you haptic feedback which is really nice and it did load the Engadget website and as you see it loaded pretty fast and I'm scrolling and you can see it is so responsive now what I'm going to do is uh, we will just go to the uh, full version that's the desktop version and it's loading the same and it loaded it fairly quickly if you noticed and I'm going to do the pinch gesture and as you can see it has no problem with the same it is not as smooth as some of the dual core phones that I've seen but for the budget this phone sells I would say the browsing is very good. So overall, if uh, you're looking to do a lot of web browsing on this phone, uh, the web browser is very good. The only issue that I have is the video playback with flash videos. And I think so that's ice cream sandwich issue, not the problem with the phone. So that's the web browsing for the same. And regarding the user interface, I didn't have any issues with the same and as it runs sense ui 4 and i found this new sense ui that is 4 to be a little uh, less heavier than the older sense version and it's actually pretty fluid i did not face any issues of lag etc with the phone and also uh let us go to an empty space let me uh, remove this and let me show you the widgets option and if you click on the same all the widgets are going to load like this and it is fairly easy to set the same uh, for example let me set this clock widget and i just hold it and take it to the empty area and here the widget is there and to remove the same just i hold it and remove it also again let me show you the app tray uh, by default uh, HTC did not load a lot of apps on the phone uh, again uh, I wanted to mention something about Dropbox uh, this phone has a very tight integration with Dropbox and while you are initially setting up the phone it will ask you to set up a Dropbox account and if you do the same you'll get 25 GB of cloud storage courtesy of Dropbox and HTC says that uh, this will be valid for the first two years so though the phone does not come with a lot of internal storage you have cloud storage but i think so it's better to add a micro sd card and expand the storage again uh, we do get what do you say polaris office with the phone and uh, we also have the Savan music app preloaded and we do have 
Wi-Fi hotspot functionality. Again, playing YouTube with the native YouTube app was uh, no issues. It played fine. Let me show you the gallery now of this phone. This is the gallery. I've taken some pictures actually. Let me show you the camera roll. And these are some of the pictures that I have taken with the phone. And the pictures, I would say the camera is above average according to me. It's a five megapixel shooter and it can also shoot videos in 720p. I have made a separate detailed video regarding the camera performance of this phone. So if you want to know more about that, check out that video. And uh, actually the camera on this phone is actually very uh, nice and unique according to me. So let me show you the same. Let me go to the camera app. And if you notice, we have two switches directly. This will take a static photograph and this will take uh, a video so you don't have to search inside to shoot a video or let's say a static picture and this camera has a very fast shutter rate for example if i just hold the shutter button as you can see it has taken so many photographs this is very unique and i found the shutter lag to be almost zero with this phone let me just go back and we also get this tap to focus functionality and it focuses pretty quickly actually and if you want to take the photograph just hit this and if you have noticed it takes the snap so quickly so uh, the camera i would say is above average and it can also shoot video that is in 720p and we get all, all a lot of settings actually we can get uh, face detection smile detection etc and uh, uh, but uh, when the flash is fired again, as with most of the uh, camera phones, uh, the results won't be that satisfactory. So if you want to know more about the camera performance, check out the other video that I've made. But overall, I would say the camera on this phone is very good and very fast. Moving towards the battery life on this phone, I couldn't do actually extended testing uh, for the battery but uh, the battery is a 1500 milliampere battery and in my limited testing i found the battery to be above average and it should easily last your full one working day without any issues uh, one more thing that is the beats audio with this phone and i would say that uh, uh, it does enhance the audio a little bit i tried it with my uh, other earphones that i'm used to and by enabling the beats uh, functionality you can enable it or disable it by the app tray whenever you play a music that icon comes here and i found that enabling it adds a little bit more depth and what do you say uh, base to the music it's not sp something spectacular i would say if you have a some sort of a third party equalizer app if you play with it you can get that kind of effect so it's a good thing beat audio works uh, and it works with any audio on the phone Regarding the video, uh, I was able to play back uh, easily uh, uh, most of the video formats, uh, even 720p video uh, played without any issues. Moving to the gaming performance, uh, I do not do a lot of gaming, uh, but let me show you this Fruit Ninja app. And uh, actually, I just uh, tried a few simple games and I didn't have any issues with the same. The screen is also very responsive and nice. Though it's just an LCD screen, I found the uh, quality to be, to be really good. So this is Fruit Ninja. Let me get out of the same. I also tried Raging Thunder Light and that worked fine. I have also done some benchmarking and I have done the Quadrant Standard Benchmark. You can see the results here. For the Quadrant Benchmark, we get a score of 1977. And I have also done the Nina Mark II test. And on that, I got a score of 28. 0.9 which is actually pretty decent for this phone so how would i rate this phone before doing that let me talk a little bit about the storage on this phone uh, the internal storage is actually just around 1.1 gb as you can see the total internal storage is just 1 gb uh, that is i say good enough for apps though uh, this phone supports the micro sd card for expansion htc does not include one and with this total space of just about 95.2 MB that is available, uh, I took about, about 40 seconds of HD video footage and about 20 photographs and the space was filled. So I would strongly suggest that if you are purchasing this phone, uh, purchase a micro SD card and, and put it that because otherwise you'll fall into memory problems. 
so overall uh, this is a very nice phone from HTC and H and this phone is targeting the mid-range Android users and currently in India it's priced approximately at about 17,500 and I say this is a very good phone because the build quality of this phone is very good though it's not perfect it's missing the front facing camera and uh, also though it says beats audio the headset that HTC has provided as the standard ordinary headset so overall this is a very good mid-range phone by HTC and it runs out of the box the Android 4 with this HTC Sense 4 UI I hope you found this video review helpful if you found it helpful I'll appreciate if you click on the like button given below that's it for now this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video